I'm gonna sit down and have me a solo dinner. Yes, I am. Take yourself out. Treat yourself. Teach people how to treat you. Okay, let's go get some vegan food. you guys welcome back to another vlog today i'm gonna be doing a whole day eating out at vegan restaurants all the restaurants that i'm gonna be going to today have i have never tried so the first place that i stopped was nectar juice bar as you guys saw and i got a juice called the greenie and it's pretty good so i start my mornings with a green juice every morning it's 8 a.m right now so I'm just gonna finish this and head to the gym. It might be kind of a cheat day today though, even though I'm starting good with my green juice because the restaurants that I'm going to, like I looked at their menu and it looks so good. So I'm just gonna order what I want. <laughs> I'm not gonna stick to anything. And I know you guys are thinking like, well, it's vegan, it's healthy. No, you still have to watch what you eat when you're vegan. I don't think I've ever talked about it before, but my parents used to make me eat meat all the way up until I was eight. And when I was eight, they let me stop eating meat, anything with a bone in it. Because when I was young, I was just really disgusted by knowing the fact that I was eating meat. I don't know, something came to me when I was eight and I could understand that I was eating an animal and it just kind of disgusted me. After that, I would eat, I would still eat meat because if I didn't, I probably wouldn't eat anything because my family are meat eaters. But I would, um, I would want it to be like dressed up with something. So like a burger, I could get around that. Taco, something like ground beef. You know what I mean? It had to be like dressed up. Until I was probably like 18 because I could buy my own food then. So then um, I was vegetarian. So I didn't eat any meat. Basically just because I don't like it. That's mainly my thing. I was just eating, you know, eggs, cheese. I don't really drink milk. A little over a year ago, I decided to go vegan. I never thought I would go vegan because I loved cheese. <laughs> so that was the main thing. And then I also eat eggs like for breakfast a lot. So I didn't think I could go vegan, but then like COVID came and I was just kind of like, okay, I'm gonna do anything to boost my immunity. So that's when I decided to become vegan and it hasn't been hard. I think it's because I was already vegetarian. Like I didn't have like anything really to give up but eggs and cheese and it's, it's cool. The only time that it's hard is when I'm like out of the country cause they don't have that many um, vegan option if you're vegan or you're not you just want to see some food kind of like my own little diners driving and dives a little bit kind of oh. I'm gonna find some good restaurants though to try today and I'll let you guys know how it is nectar so far was good and it's a juice bar I did have to drive kind of far I'm in Summerlin but deep in Summerlin so yeah I'll name all the restaurants that I go to today down below if you want to check them out. Also, make sure you are following my new Instagram page called Vegas Vegan. And I just show you basically vegan options in Las Vegas and when I'm out of town traveling. And also let you know what I make myself. So if you want to do meatless Mondays or try to go vegan, you have some ideas. It's time for my protein shake. So that's where we're gonna head now to a place called Juice Box LV. I've also never been here. Well, I think I told you guys I haven't been to any of these places that I'm going to today. I'm kind of hungry. Like I wish I was about to eat, but I haven't had my protein shake. So that juice place was really cute. It's very far from my house, but I think I would take the drive back because I'm usually all over Vegas. I'm never usually near where I live unless I'm going out or something. <laughs> but I got the protein shake just now. This is called the Brass Monkey. And um, it tastes really, really good. Mmm. This is bomb. And then I also bought some juices over there because you guys know I love to drink green juices in the morning. So 
Um, they just put them in this cute little box. And this is their packaging. This is a celery juice. Oops, can y'all see? Oh, this is a celery juice. Um, I got the spinach, apple, celery, cucumber. And also I got the spinach, kale, celery, lemon. I usually like plain celery juice in the mornings, but um, if there's celery in it and you know, just like a green juice, then I'm cool with it. Both of the juice places that I went to today, you can't sit in there. So I'm pretty much in and out. That's why I'm like sitting in my car. I hope the food places that I go to, I can sit down, but if not, I'll just take my food home and tell you guys about it. But so far, both of the juice places, I couldn't, um, I had to be quick, but it was super cute in there, as you guys can see. So I'm gonna drink this, and then the next time I see you guys, I can finally eat some food. I just had my brunch at the Modern Vegan and I was so excited to go there. I've been wanting to go there for a really long time, but I couldn't find nobody to go with me because I don't really know vegans. Um, so I took myself today as a part of this video and I will be going back because there's so much good things on the menu, but I've been eyeballing those breakfast tacos and they were so good and I brought the leftovers home because I will eat those. <laughs> and then the chicken sandwich that you guys saw, um, I saw it's kind of in like a very, uh, like it's a little iffy place. Like I didn't know that the restaurant was kind of, it's like near the college, but there's like a lot of homeless people around there. So, um, I seen a homeless man, um, like right when I pulled in, I saw him right there. So I, um, ordered him something to go. Not sure if he's vegan or not, but it looked good. You definitely want to go to the modern vegan hungry because their meals are huge. They're like, all huge I was seeing all the food coming out and everything and I was like dang I wish I would have been I was really hungry um, before I had my protein shake but usually when I take my protein shake I'm kind of full so yeah that's like a good like if I have like a night out drinking and stuff like I could wake up and go there that's that type of restaurant <laughs> so I'm downtown about to get lunch um, I never come down here to try and figure out my parking situation and then head over to the restaurant it's like right across the street I got a good parking spot so just had lunch and I'm very full just like my first meal I had the lasagna and it was so so good I will definitely come back to this restaurant I thought it was gonna be like really hard to get to because it's downtown like parking sometimes is crazy but luckily I came right into a park and it is Monday so I definitely would come back so I'm gonna have a lot of leftovers because I pretty much brought half of each of my meals home so I'll probably just eat it tomorrow, like whatever. I'll see you guys at dinner time and let you guys know how I'm feeling, if I'm gonna make it to the last spot that I was gonna go to or not, but most likely I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it for y'all. It's almost eight o'clock now, so I'm about to walk into this other restaurant. This place is called Violet's Vegan and it says good vibes, great food and they got great parking in a great location because this as well it's not as close as the last restaurant to my place but it's still pretty close it's probably like i don't know maybe like 10 minutes 15 minutes depends on like traffic but yeah i like this location and i'm i've never seen this place ever i come to this store right here and i've never ever looked over here so today I found me a new little spot actually I found I found what five spots today 
all right so this is about to be the last meal i'm gonna tell you guys how it is and then we'll see let's go in it looks pretty empty i'm gonna sit down and have me a solo dinner yes i am take yourself out treat yourself teach people how to treat you okay let's go get some vegan food The last place it was I love the location you know it was cute inside um, they had a really really good menu except I just went it's kind of later well it's like 8 30 now so already throughout the day a lot of their food went especially like the really good comfort food which I wasn't gonna get anyway I wanted the pad thai um, that's what I wanted to try there because I love pad thai so they were out of like their their stir fry vegetables they were like like did not have any broccoli but you know i'm gonna go back because i see stuff on the menu that it looks really really good what i got was pretty good the only thing is that it's not something i would really get unless i don't know maybe i was just kind of in a rush or something because i feel like i can make it at home like when i go to vegan restaurants they are really crafty with these vegan foods so i like to get something that i really can't make at home that's what i usually like to get and they do have a lot of that on their menu so i will definitely go back to try some of that but today i just got the wrap and i make wraps at home and it's super easy it was good like don't get me wrong it was good um with sweet potato fries it was good um but yeah it's not something i would like if i go out to a vegan restaurant like i want something more like you know elaborate or like their really good meal that they're known for and that wasn't it so i ended up just getting that because they ran out of a lot of stuff so make sure you are following my vegas vegan page and i'm sure you will see me post more food from them than what i had today and that's the end of this vlog next time you're in vegas try something vegan see you guys next time